Tonight, an all new 2020 reports on the notorious case of Kristen Smart. The 19 year old Cal Poly student disappeared from an off campus fraternity party one night in 1996 that captured national attention for over two decades. ABC News Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman joins us now as 2020 revisits the case tonight. Matt, thanks for talking with us. Tonight's show diving into how law enforcement were finally able to bring Kristen's killer to justice. Can you talk about what people are going to see tonight? Uh, on the one hand, John, this is a tragedy, right? You have uh, a college freshman disappearing without a trace the last day of school, basically Memorial Day weekend, 1996, vanishing. No DNA, not a hair, not a shred of clothing. She just disappears. And on the other hand, you have the mystery because the person who accompanied her, who was said to have walked her home, who said he walked her home, was the prime suspect for over 25 years. Law enforcement, Kristen's family, everybody thought, well, Paul Flores had to do it. He is guilty, but he always managed to elude law enforcement. So this is a story how, of how her family, law enforcement, the FBI, a uh, crusading podcaster helped piece together all of these disparate clues to be able to get a case going against Paul Flores and finally bring him to justice over 25 years after he murdered Kristen Smart and somehow disappeared her body. Not only was it enough to get um, an indictment, it got him convicted with first degree murder. Um, so on the one hand, that's, that's a huge success for the family. They got what they had craved for so long, which was justice, but they also are missing the thing that they have wanted for just as long, even more so, which is um, closure and knowing what happened to Kristen's body. So can you give us a couple of the d new details that we will learn tonight in this 2020 special? So one of the things that we really zeroed in on um, were the cadaver dogs, because they really sealed the deal for the prosecution and investigators. And the work that they did um, was pretty incredible. They found scents of human remains that were 25 years old, and that allowed other crews to come in with ground penetrating radar. Um, brand spanking new high tech stuff that was able to peer down into the soil, into the earth, and figure out what might have been there at the time. Um, and this allowed investigators to piece together enough of a case to bring Paul Flores in. We also talked to the one witness who says that she heard Paul Flores confess back in 1996. It took a lot to get this interview. It is an incredible interview because she was afraid for decades that if she spoke up, he would also come after her and that he might kill her as well. So she lived in terror for all this time. Um, and obviously, basically, this cast of characters um, and, and people who'd been involved with the case for 27 years. And by the way, 2020's involvement, John, goes back more than 25 years in this case, interviewing the smarts back in the 90s. Um, and, you know, we have just been on this thing for 27 years, putting stuff together, culminating in what I think is a very powerful, very intriguing two-hour documentary tonight.